five lives left. Make it count. Hello everyone, I'm Garbo, and today we're going to talk about the Malay Mastery. It's finally here, they're about to implement it to the next update. So we're going to talk about what are the best Malay weapons to run in the game. I'm going to talk about the top three. I am going to give an honorable mention to the Claymore. However, at the end of the day, the Claymore is just going to be a little too slow and not enough to actually deal the damage that you want to when you're running the Malay weapons. So obviously we already know if you haven't been trying to master your Malay weapons, you might want to get on the ball with that because there's going to be plenty of people going to be doing it and try to get the best melee weapons to use. So <clears throat> I'm going to tell you my top three that I believe are going to be it because I run melee weapons quite a bit. I kind of enjoy them. There's times I, you know, they're cheeky in a way, but sometimes at the end of the day, cheeky plays wins the games, right? So <clears throat> sounds like a new move, but you're going to see it left and right. It's in the game, so it's allowed. It's not cheating to use melee weapons, so I'm going to use melee weapons if I feel like I need to in certain situations. So here we're going to hop into it. I'm going to try to talk to them in order, so that way we're going to, so we're going to go from the third to the second to the first, pretty much to which one is the best. So for third, for the top third melee weapon that you want to run into this when you get the update and you haven't mastered the other two yet, it's going to be the katana. The katana has a really good swing damage and plus it has an amazing throw damage. It's not as fast as the other two weapons that I'm going to mention. However, at the end of the day, you upgrade it one time. So you buy it for 5,000, upgrade it to 2,500. You will get enough throw damage to knock somebody. I'm not going to include armor. Let's imagine that these characters do not have armor when you encounter these people. So most likely your weapon is going to them. They got a hundred damage throw. I believe the katana actually takes 125 when you upgrade it up to second or third level. Either way, that's going to be the best one. However, it's just a little slow on the throw speed. So when you go to throw it, it's not as fast or as agile as the other ones. However, it has a really good swing damage. So when you go to swing, it'll take down your opponents and block them off. Obviously, the other two will too. But this one actually takes a little more damage on the swing than the others. <coughs> All right, so my second mention, this is going to be the second place. It's going to be the Kyrkiri. So this is going to be carried by Kestrel, and I believe it's going to be another rogue. They're going to change it up a little bit with the melee mastery, so like when it actually drops, different rogues are going to be carrying different weapons. However, as far as I know, Kestrel runs the Kyrkiri. So this is going to be the second best melee weapon to have because it's almost as powerful as the first one. Um, I don't think there's really anything different with it. I just believe because it's on one character, that's kind of like what shuts it down right now. So again... That's why it's on the second on second spot. However, again, it's got an insane throw speed. You do have to level it up all the way, so you have to purchase 5,000, plus to both the 2,500 upgrades to obtain the max damage output, which is going to be 100. However, it has the best throw speed. It's also good when you're aiming down sight. It's kind of faster on swinging as well, but at the end of the day, the katana is more powerful in that area. But when you go down and you think about melee master, you kind of want to think about it when you're going to throw it, because when you knock people it's not that you knock people but it's easier to knock people when you throw it than it is when you're running at them and you're swinging at them yes there's going to be times that you're going to be you're going to swing and it's going to do hella good damage for you but most likely those close and quarter counters you're going to end up throwing that and knocking them almost instantaneously so that way you get the down you thirst them and as fast as possible the faster you get them down the faster you can get to helping your teammates the faster you can revive your teammates the faster you can do choke points for your teammates anything that you do with that knock will help implement better gameplay for your teammates and you. So, again, the Kukri is really good for that area, again, because it's really fast. You can throw it across the map. I think, again, once you master it, it helps you even increases the throw speed, but it also increases the throw damage as well. All right, so the first one and the best one, and it's the, it is the best melee weapon to run in the game. It's the one I run the most, maybe because it's the characters that it, it gets equipped with, but at the end of the day, these are the ones I pick. So I'm going to say it's the Combat Axe. The Combat Axe is amazing in all categories. Again, at, this, at the end of the day, you have to upgrade it all the way. you got to purchase 5,000 plus both the 2,500 upgrades to actually get it to that level where one hits down people. However, at the end of the day, it's the same thing as the Kukri. It's, real, it's faster on the throw speed than the katana it's also got the 100 damage that you can knock people down with and at the end of the day you're trying to get those throws i mean yes you can do again it goes back to you can do those swings but most likely if you have that weapon on hand you're going to want to throw it over actually swinging at it unless you're in a close quarters encounter the again one hit downs with throwing it compared to swinging it two or three times to knock somebody is crucial in any situation so again it is going to be the best in that category so again those are going to be the top three weapons um again i don't know all the rogues are going to 
be carrying them because again they have swapped them up a little bit because some rogues only have there's only some weapons that are only on two characters or only on one character like example the sledgehammer is only on cannon and the sword like the claymore is only on mac there's certain characters that only have certain melee weapons so they're going to change that around um i noticed in the rogue company update video that trench was carrying the claymore i don't know if it was because he mastered it or that's one of the characters that they have decided that will carry the claymore but at the end of the day uh you don't so eh, i don't know anyway i don't count the claymore as the best i don't count as the uh the other combat knife i think it's the combat knife is what it's called baseball bat or rosie rosie doesn't even count because you can't even throw rosie as the arm and again only one person carries it so maybe they might change up malay for a scorch I don't know yet. That's something that they have to look into. They haven't really decided. Or maybe they might do something with Rosie where you might can do something with her. I don't know. Again, that would be kind of weird. But at the end of the day, those are going to be the best three melee weapons. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what is your favorite melee weapon to use. Have y'all even tried using the melee weapons? Because at the end of the day, again, they sound a little cheeky, but they are so crucial in certain gameplays and certain types and modes, especially when you're running a character like a sniper, for example, that doesn't have really good close range weapons or you don't. You can't use the pistols quite well, but you can use the combat axe, so that's another good supplement. Again, I wouldn't use the baseball bat. It doesn't do enough damage at the end of the day to knock people. Same as a combat knife. They're about in the same category. Sledgehammer does hella damage when you're swinging it, but when you go to throw and stuff like that, it's really slow, and I believe it only takes 75 damage when you hit them when you throw it. So at the end of the day, you're not going to knock anybody unless they're already been hurt or wounded in combat or they just get revived. And, I mean, in those situations like that, it's just not enough for me to want to put that on my list compared to the other ones that are just immediate knockdowns. But again, y'all let me know in the comments section down below if y'all haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel i appreciate if y'all do one of those things i'm constantly trying to upload content every tuesday wednesday and thursday and the like and subscribe motivates me to make more content also on fridays me and the boys are going to try to play some more complimentary top competitive gameplay maybe some apex legends some dead by daylight as a rainbow six siege we're always trying to play something different we're trying to have a good laughs and some fun sometimes it gets a little competitive and get real anxious and into it but you know how it is when you play video games sometimes you just get that mentality so if y'all like those types of videos and us having a great time come out on friday and watch those videos i'm going to cut to it let y'all watch the rest of the video i hope y'all have a great time peace out and thanks for watching guys Friendlies eliminated. Regroup. Lethal out. Objective lost.
Nice work, team. Checks in the mail.